I do not like telemedicine. But Matthew, you say? Telemedicine is a combination of medicine, technology, and social distancing. That's the unholy Matthew trifecta. It's more you than you. Here's the thing. I don't like video conferencing. The intersection between I want to see you in real time and I don't want to see you in person is vanishingly small. The one example I can think of is that I like hanging out with Sammy, but she keeps a human pet, and I'm allergic to humans, so video conferencing it is. <laughs> see, the ability to break eye contact during a boring conversation is actually quite liberating, much in the same way that listening to a movie soundtrack during a jog makes much more sense than watching the actual movie while jogging. When my boss calls me on the phone to talk about an exciting new opportunity that sounds more like trouble than sense, it's nice to note that I can humor her over the phone without her seeing what I'm actually doing. I could literally be doing almost anything, and no one would ever know. Wait, how could you possibly know? So when CMS announced that they were loosening requirements on telemedicine, I wasn't particularly excited. Rural requirement? Pish posh. Every man is an island. Establish prior relationship? Oh please, this isn't Facebook, this is Tinder. Practicing telemedicine hasn't improved my impressions. Logistically, it's challenging. Nursing homes just aren't tech savvy. This is so widely acknowledged that there's actually an ACGME requirement for Jerry Fellows to train in the technological boonies. Forget tablets and Wi-Fi, one of my nursing homes can't even figure out emails. And I can't say that my patients love it either. I have enough problems trying to interview patients with dementia, hearing loss, and vision problems, but stuffing me into a glowing rectangle and having me buffer because the network sucks is even worse. And then there are all the inefficiencies. Historically, one of the nice things about working in a nursing home is that you can mostly just show up whenever you want to a captive audience. They're not going to complain that you're two hours late like they do when you're quadruple booked at the office. And they're not going to die like they would if you showed up a few days late to the hospital. But now I need to call in advance to make sure that Dr. Takanaka hasn't already appropriated the tablet, and that there's enough staff on the floor to accommodate rounding with me. Nursing homes are already short-staffed. The last thing that any nurse wants to hear is, Hey, drop everything that you're doing and spend the next two hours doing extra work and being ordered around by Dr. Uechi. And it's not like I enjoy it. Having to ask the staff to do the physical exam for me and then having them report back to me is way less efficient than me just doing it myself. It's like having a med student round with me on all my patients. It's unbearably slow. I can't stand- Wait, hold on. Jimmy, who's this talk for? Wait, what? Are you serious? <sighs> <clears throat> I love trainees. Thank you for all your hard work and dedication. I'm an internist by training, and internists are ridiculously particular about their physical exams. If I told my old attendings that I was watching someone else perform the exam for me over the internet, I'm sure they'd start lamenting about how medicine has been passed down for thousands of years. From father to son, father to son. And that this sacred chain is now broken because of my lackadaisical attitude. Hippocrates died of COVID negative 2000, and I expect the same level of professionalism from you, young man. Look, it's not that we're scared of catching COVID-19. We're afraid of being vectors. Nursing home physicians generally go to more than one nursing home per day. After all, I need to hedge my bets in case one of my facilities kicks me out because I've been playing video games rather than doing admissions. We can easily spread COVID-19 to different facilities, and as such, it's safer if we stay away. Don't get me wrong, telemedicine is a good tool to have. Any technology that broadens our ability to see patients is inherently valuable. And years from now when this pandemic is over, I'll still want the ability to use telemedicine to see patients in nursing homes that are on lockdown from influenza. But you need to use the right tool for the right job, and I don't see telemedicine ever becoming my plan A. That's like asking me if I'd rather watch Sammy eat a steak or eat a steak myself. And of course the answer is going to be that I'd rather eat- Actually, that looks like it'd be kind of cute. Sammy, start streaming.